Hello and welcome to Animotive. Now that you're all logged in, I'm going to show you around our interface and get you familiar with everything you need to know. First, we'll go through the application settings. Here is where you can see the Animotive projects path. This is where your Animotive projects will be saved. To choose the location, just press select. And you can also choose where to save your exports to. This is where all your exported videos, FBXs and Unity exports reside. Underneath the application settings icon is the icon for my account. Clicking on that icon will reveal settings for your account. Here you'll see basic info for your account. You'll have the opportunity to change password or upgrade your account as well. Beside my account is documentation. Clicking on this will take you to our documentation where you can find even more detail on how to use Animotive. Join the Discord does just what you'd expect. It opens up Discord so you can hook up with the Animotive community. One of the great things about Animotive is that you can collaborate with people remotely. All you need to do is to invite them to your project. In the invitations section, you'll see where other people have invited you to their project. So let's take a look at projects. First off, what is a project? A project is where the fun really begins. It's a hub where you can invite other team members, import your 3D assets, and of course, create scenes where you can perform and bring all your ideas to life. Let's create a new project and we'll run through all you need to know to get started. In the Projects tab, click Create a new project. The first thing to do is to give your project a name. Next, you can choose a template. Animotive comes with two fully loaded templates to get you started. Light World and Dark World. Our Light World is a colourful, bright, optimistic place with a family of four characters, three sets and plenty of props to play around with. If you choose to enter our Dark World, you'll find a cool, futuristic, sci-fi inspired world that comes with four unique characters, three sets and again, plenty of cool props to inspire you. If you choose a blank template, this gives you the opportunity to start from scratch. For each template, light, dark and blank, you can import your own assets, meaning you can add to what's already there. Clicking on Create will initiate your project and it will appear just below Your Projects. Let's look at what happens when we click on Open. The first thing you see is the Scenes section. So what is a scene? It's where you'll spawn characters, spawn a set, perform, capture and export. It's where you'll meet up with your collaborators. It's a place where all your stories and performances are stored and you can have as many as you want within your project. When you exit a scene, it automatically saves and you can come back to it just the way you left it. With that said, let's go through what we see here. We start off with one scene already created called Scene 1. Let's change the name of that. If you click on Edit, you'll see that you now have the chance to rename the scene. You can also delete a scene from here as well. Clicking on Create a New Scene allows you to create and name a new scene. OK, scenes are ready, but let's not open it just yet. We'll come back to that after we check out the other tabs. The Teams tab is where you can see the people you're collaborating with and add new team members. Having people on your team means you can work on the same project together. For example, you can collaborate with someone whose role it is to direct your performance inside Animotive. It's worth mentioning that this person can direct you from Animotive's desktop mode, meaning they don't need a VR headset. Alternatively, you can perform alongside someone in a multi-character scene. To add a new team member, simply click on Add a new team member enter their email address and send the invite. You can also assign roles to each team member. The settings tab shows you some more details on your project. You can also delete a project from here. The asset library is where you can see a list of all the 3D assets that relate to your project. It's also where you can upload your own assets. 
you can see that you can filter between characters, props and sets here. For more detailed information on the asset library, please refer to our documentation. For now, let's click on back. Well, it looks like we're ready to go. Before you open a scene, it's important to make sure your headset is switched on and connected to your computer. If you're using a meta headset, make sure link mode is enabled. Okay, you're good to go. Get started and have fun.